Greetings and welcome back to Ark. And we are on the Lost Island. And you can see I lost a Santa outfit. I think I still have a few of those pounds though. Hmm. Anyway, I have been working on our crafting base. So I was thinking of using some of those prehistoric structures. I'm going to use them for other things. But I found a mod that I like more. It's kind of low key, but it's actually a very nice quality of life. It's called clean metal and glass and what does this do well it makes the metal look good can you imagine that by the way these are boxes here and uh yeah 300 storage 300 storage yeah if you look down here i have been doing a retrofit and it does look a lot better so i'm going to continue to do that because well Metal isn't really a problem anymore because of a couple of things. Um, like I said, this is the crafting base. It's not supposed to be homey or anything like that. Um, as a result, I do have a toy. And the toy is my industrial forge. Boy, was that hard to save up for. Uh, that required 2,500 metal. And that's the reason that I have five forges here. But they're never going to get used again. No, they're not. Uh, that thing is really good at its job. And basically, I had to... Uh, well, I made some new toys. Uh, toy number one is a chainsaw. Toy number two is actually the one that is a lot more useful. And that is a drill. As a matter of fact, why don't we... Uh, why don't we go check some stuff out? He hates it when I do this because he knows I'm going to load him up. All right. All right. I think that we have some respawn over here. I haven't been over here for a while. So, yeah, I mean, the thing is, that thing over there basically cooks 20 ingots at a time. So it just really goes crazy with that. But, of course, you actually need to have the iron, don't you? Did this respawn? Yes, it did. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. And we're down. Boom. And we're off. Okay. Now, both of these run with gasoline. I'm going to turn this on so we can see what's going on. Uh, where is it here? Um, I still have eight. That's not a problem whatsoever. Okay. So this is good stuff over here. So let's load this up and let's see what this does. By the way, I have not changed the yield on the server in terms of uh, uh, gathering. No, I have not. All right, let's see. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Yeah, I need to make sure that I don't overweigh myself here. Hold on a minute. Here, you take that and you take that. All right, and I think there's a little one behind this too. Yeah, I think there's one in there, right there. Okay, hold it a second. It. By little, I mean it was small, but it was also high quality. All right, hold on a minute. Let's just dump this in here and then dump this in here. I think there's still another. Yes, there's another one right over here. There's more around there, but this will be good enough for now. Oh, and this is a regular rock right here. Check out the metal. Yeah, I mean, this thing is just awesome. Um, oh, you know what it is? When it's in your hand, it doesn't count as weight for some reason. So look, I can move like this, but if I put it away, then I'm encumbered. Very strange, very strange indeed. All right, so let's just uh, put all this stuff in him because he loves doing this. He does indeed. By the way, I have a lot of stone, which is actually useful, especially considering what we're doing today. All right, so I can put that away. All right, let's just take this back and let's get the process going here. So at the moment, basically, I have as much metal as I want and I can process it really quickly. So we're going to drop this into the forge and then we're going to start talking about what we're going to be doing today. Uh, because I do believe there is a glitch in the matrix and I might just try to take advantage of that glitch in the matrix. As I said, it's an all new world, right? All right, let's just see. I need you to walk up these stairs a little bit here. There we go. Okay, so I need to be able to access both of them. All right, let me get this because I'm going to grab that 1650 
And then I'm going to look at this and I'm going to throw 1650 in here. All right. Now, basically every one of these is kind of like a, a melting thing. So when I turn it on, it runs on gas, but you can have electric. Notice it's cooking them all at the same time there. So when they're all done, we get 20. So this thing is really fast and I appreciate that. All right, so let's just wait until it's done. And boom, 20 at a time. All right, so that is uh, very useful. Actually, I put a box here. Because of the stacking mod I have, you could have like thousands in it. And once you take it out, you can't put anything back in. So you'd have to actually drop it on the ground. So what I do is I have this here so that I could put something in there. Oh, I forgot all about that. I just leave metal lying around everywhere now, don't I? All right. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to take that out of you. Hold on a minute. Let's just uh, go around here. Uh, I'm going to leave you here because you and I have some exploring to do. All right. I'm just going to throw this in here. All right, in here. I'm still going to be using this. Actually, I kind of have. Oh, I forgot the stone. He's carrying the stone. Where is the stone? Um, I should be able to carry that. Yes, I can. All right, and we're going to put this in here. All right, put that in there. Because I, I kind of use this to construct something. The good thing about making things with this is it just kind of needs that one element, you know? So if you're going to make something that's stone, it's just kind of stone. It's a little convenient. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to keep going with this and once it's done, I'm going to make an upside down upstairs, I should say. And then we're going to start working on things like industrial cookers and maybe the grinder and things like that. Yeah, the drill, the one thing that the drill needed. Okay, let's just go over to weapons and is it range? Yeah, there it is right there. The one thing it doesn't have crystal at the moment. I have crystal somewhere else. Um, black pearls. There was like a little lake or like a little hole there near the geysers and there was a waterfall and down there there were black pearls. It was kind of the easiest place to go without going to the bottom of the ocean and once I was able to do that I was able to build that because I had everything else. Mind you it's only primitive but as you can see it's actually quite effective. Okay, so now we're going to start talking about uh, what we're going to do today. Now, I was going to go out to the islands because I've been doing stuff there. By the way, I do have a little bit of a farm going. Um, I just kind of made an intake coming out of the water and then a pipe and then the sprayer and such like that. Um, and I have four crops around it. Uh, the reason for that is I need to start going with those. And the one that I want most is the rock carrot because it turns out that the unicorn is still over there. And I would like to uh, attempt to get him. If that happens, I will record it and we'll tag it into a video. All right, so here's the thing. I took the Allosauruses out for a walk. And, uh, and of course, some munching too, because I wanted to feed them and I wanted to get them some experience, you know, good munching experience. So we killed a couple of things. And then I rounded a corner and saw a T-Rex. And I'm like, oh, let's go kill the T-Rex. What level is it? It was 740. Yeah, 740. And I'm like, how did that happen? Is the game trolling me? You know, the thing is, I have it set so the, the, the highest level wild creature should be 300. It's a setting, right? Now, I did notice that some of the tech um, dinos go a little bit above that. I've seen like about 330, 339, somewhere in that range. But I mean, I have no idea how that happened. So what happened is I ran because I was on the ground, right? And I didn't want it to see us, right? So I went down to the beach, made a turn, saw another T-Rex. That one was 870. So I'm like, what is going on here? This is actually kind of scary. And I'm like, what am I going to do about them? And then the thought came to me and I went back and looked at them. One was male, one was female. Would it be possible? So that's what we're going to try right now. All right, so I have this over here. I don't know if the trees are going to be a problem. Here's the thing. The... Uh, 
the 740 is, I believe, over there, and the 870 is over here. So what I'm going to try to do, as I said, this might be a problem over here, is try to lead him here and get it to fall in there. And then have a bajillion darts to possibly knock it out. See, that's the part that I'm not quite straight on. What am I going to have to do to knock this out? So I have on me, well, 208 darts because one is loaded into my gun. And by the way, I did repair my Ascendant rifle. It cost it like 360 metal to do it, by the way. And I also have a bunch of these if I do need them and my Mastercrafted crossbow. I don't know what it's going to take to knock one of these guys out. So we're going to have to see about that. Now, as I said, the... Um, the 870 should be over here. It's the reason that I built here. And the other one is around the corner there. So let's just see if we can do this without dying. I think it was over here, wasn't it? Yep, there it is. All right. This is what I'm talking about. 800. Okay. Did you steal something from me? Where, if one thing I don't need right now is those little things right now. Okay, here you come. I really don't need you. Good, dead. Okay, so um, let's let's see what we can do about this. This could be obviously very dangerous. Uh, he's got twenty-four. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a he. He's got twenty-four. Okay, what is going on? Is it another one? You guys, you figure you would learn your lesson. All right. Okay, come on, come on, you see me? Okay, hi, hi, remember me? Okay, I think it sees me, all right. Down. It's aggroed on me, it's aggroed on me, it's aggroed on me. By the way, be careful trying this with a, uh, a Giga. Because Gigas are actually really fast on the ground. Hey, remember me? Okay, come on, I'm right here. Let's get it mad, right? I'm too far away. You've forgotten me already? Okay, uh, we're gonna have to, like... Okay, this thing has some, um... Some attention issues here, right? Okay, come on, right there. See me? Okay. That should... Oh, that is just disastrous. Get over... Okay, I'm gonna die, and this is gonna be horrible. Is this how I'm actually going to do it? The problem is that the other guy is engaged. Oh. Get over here, you stupid... Oh. I guess it knocked me off. Maybe it has superpowers. Come here. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Come on. Come on. By the way, I'm actually I'm actually really hurt. I didn't even realize that. 
All right, come on. All right, it's up here. I'm pretty sure it's past these trees. Yeah, like I said, don't try this with a Giga because a Giga is fast. I mean, I was flying just off the ground trying to get rid of a... Um... Okay. Finally, it's behaving. Um, come on. I think it stopped to eat. Okay. Come on. Right here. Right here. Okay, you're going at this from the wrong side. No, no. You're going at this from the wrong side. Okay, now... Come on, I'm right here. Okay, you're doing an angle. It's in, it's in. Okay, I want you a little bit away here. Okay. All right, first things first. Uh, I'm gonna have some uh, jerky here to get some healing going. Yikes. All right, and a little bit of water. Okay, so here comes the fun part. How long does it take to actually do this? What's his topor? 82,000. Wow. Okay, hold on a second. Did I hit him? No, I didn't. Okay, how much is that going to do? That did 800. Okay, and it's coming off immediately. Did you see that? Oh, wow. It was just going down immediately. He's going to be really... Even if I do knock him out... He's going to be very hard to um, to keep knocked out. Eighty-two thousand. I know he's not doing any damage. It's all stone, and those doorways are like eight thousand each. Even if he could, actually, I think they're more than that. Hold on a minute. Um. Okay. Oh. 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 Hi. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, I got him at a million ten thousand. All right, so I'm going to keep working on this, and we're going to have to see how this is going to work in the end, because I don't know if I can keep him knocked out. All right, it's nearly done, and he's freaking out, and he's down. All right, so now the big question is how quick is his topar going to drain, right? All right, hold on a second. Okay, and his food, uh, that's another one. How quickly is his food going to drain, right? Now, I only have 35 of these things with me, so if he drains really quickly, I don't know. And I'm probably going to need a lot of mutton in order to do this, because that's what I have, by the way. Uh, let's see. So, he is... Um, it's basically, if you look at it, mutton is the second best, but it's a minus 24. I don't care if he gets any levels. I just don't want him to wake up before we've actually fed him enough in order to tame him. All right, so the thing is, he does have an enormous torpidity, but I have a feeling it's going to drain quickly. All right, so he's getting near the point of one feeding. Well, he's halfway to one feeding. Um, basically, it's every 50 that his food is under the max is an extra bite he's going to take. But I'm willing to bet he's going to have to eat a lot in order to be tamed. It's not going to be like, oh, three, and he's up, and he's ours. I don't think it's going to be that way. I wonder, if he was to make it to, to, to a thousandth level, does that break the game?
I mean, I don't even know how he's 870. But the thing is, I don't want, like, the game to go crazy or something with that. All right, he's not even at one feeding yet. Whew. And if you're wondering why there's no door, well, you know what? I'm just going to rip these things out anyway, so it's not really a problem. And I have my, uh, I don't want to go all the way back to base, so I do have um, my mutton over there in uh, Fred. How is that going? Yeah, it does seem to be draining quickly. All right, he's... He's drained his food enough to eat once. I don't really... I don't think I have any more uh, of this. I might have some more narcotics. It really depends. I mean, I have plenty of time, even if he does drain quickly. I mean, I'm not that far away from base. It's just that I didn't feel comfortable about leaving. All right. I missed him, I think, three times. So... I started with 200 and I guess we can just say 207 since one's loaded in, right? So it costed me 105 to bring him down. But then again, I said I missed three times, so 102. Okay, now the waiting game. Now the waiting game. So I am going to let him starve and hopefully he will not wake up before then. I'm just going to get my buddy over here. And we're going to come over here and wait. I'm not really sure what happened. I mean, did he knock me off? Maybe the, uh, maybe the yell at close range will do that. I have no idea. I mean, I don't think I fell off. I wouldn't have gone anywhere near that button. Anyway, um, we do have now a long wait ahead of us. Okay, it's late morning the next day, and uh, I may have gone overboard with this, but maybe I didn't. All right, let's just take a quick look. Uh, you can see that the uh, torpidity is down. Now, it doesn't look like a lot of food from the bar, but it's about 1,600. If he's like other carnivores, that should mean about 30 chunks of mutton. Now, mutton isn't terrific with him. It's a minus 24, but it is the second best to exceptional kibble, and that's all I have right now. So I guess we're going to find out if this is going to do the job. Oh, and what happens if his level is over 1,000? Does that break the game? Does it roll over? Does he end up being level 24? I have no idea. Um, I hope that this is going to do it. Because otherwise, this might be a very long time. Okay, if he's giving me 4% for each one, that's going to do the job. Excuse me, does that say 434 levels? Seriously? All right, I want to see what's happening with his food level. Okay, that's actually looking okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. But seriously, is this going to break the game? I guess we're about to find out. Divide by zero coming. Okay, I've thought about this. Conan. If I get the other one, I'm going to call it Valeria. Okay, so what? You're level 1302! How is that? E okay, if I can get the other one, the 740, and I can actually tame that, imagine the offspring. That means I have to start collecting uh, artifacts, because if I can get a lot of their offspring, oh, the boss. Oh, the boss. Okay, I am curious as heck. What kind of stats do you have anyway? You have 40,000 health. Your melee damage is 1,467. Okay, by the way, uh, you, can, you can have that mutton if you want. I'll take that back. Um, 
Yeah, okay, so I didn't put a door in here because I can just do this. All right, let's take these guys off here. Um, okay, no, I nearly had it, nearly had it, nearly had it, and boom, there we go. Okay, I got both of them. Okay, you want to come this way? Can you make it out, or do I have to destroy another one? Yeah, I don't have a saddle. This way, can you make it out? There you go. How you doing, Conan? Oh my goodness, what a monster. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fly back. All right, let's just uh, take him home, right? And then I'm going to make him a saddle. Oh, what a monster he is indeed. Such a lovely, lovely monster, though. Okay, which way is home again? Um, actually, I guess we should probably just go this way. Then we can tell. It's not like I'm afraid of running into something, right? Okay, it's up here. There we go. I wanted it fairly far away from base in case something went wrong. Um, other than me getting um, knocked off uh, my mount. Wow, you're actually kind of fast here. Hold on a minute. I think, yeah, there we are. There we are. There we are. Somebody's going to need their own table. Okay, where are you? Are you here? Okay, did I pass you? Oh, there you are. There you are. You're a big boy. You know your way, right? All right. You coming? Yes, he is. Okay, nobody be terrified over what's coming. Okay. And I want you to wait right there. Okay, I want him to wait right there. All right, who would have a lot of meat? Uh, you're going to go get some meat, but somebody who would... Oh, maybe uh, Bernadette. Not really a lot. You know, it'll do. Because let's face it, Conan's going to be getting his own meat. Hold on a minute. Oh, you're already ready to level. How wonderful. All right, I'm just going to take that nasty mutton back. You don't want that. All right, let's see about making you a saddle after I put the mutton back. Let's see. Put the mutton back right in there. Okay, so I actually have a lot of hide with me. Uh, there was an unfortunate incident with a, uh, a horse. It was a terrible thing. Um, let's see. Saddles. Is this uh, Rex? There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I never looted one, so I don't have anything really great. Okay, so boom. I mean, I don't have a very high armor. He's defenseless. Okay, oh, wow. Okay, well, I appreciate the contribution to the farming. All right, let's see. Boom. And okay, there we go. And uh, I think he needs more damage. I don't know, maybe. Let's go eat something. Excuse me. He has a turning problem. I mean, except for a Giga, what would be a threat to him? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to get the other one. The uh, the other T-Rex, the female. Uh, that will be an easier team <laughs> in perspective, of course. Oh, horsies. Yeah, horsies. It's not your best day. No, it isn't. Not a good day at all. Not a good day to be a horsey. Nom, 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 nom. Was that one hit? I think, oh, and somebody leveled. After all, it was a difficult fight. Um, I'm thinking melee damage. Conan agrees. By the way, what did you think of that mutton anyway? You want some more? Mutton is good for you. Nom, 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 nom. Just out of curiosity, what's your weight? Uh, oh, you can carry... 2,400, okay, um, damage? 
I think Conan is liking the pattern. Now, if only we can find some ornery uh, circos to have fun with here, huh? Okay, no reason to mess with these guys anymore. Um, let me see. Is there a... Oh, there's one over there. Um, I'm hope... What level are you? 30. Ugh. Oh, 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 wait a minute. What level are you? 50. I was hoping for, like, a big one. Oh, there is a big one. Oh, the levels. The levels, the levels, the levels. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go munch on some Stegosaur. Okay, turn. There you go. Okay, so he is... Let's just verify it's the right one. He is 290. What a meal he will be. Num, 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 num. He has armor on him. You see, he's only doing half damage. Woo. Did you like that? I bet you did. Um, you got four levels from that. Uh, how much would health be? Wow. I just gave him another 4,000, almost 5,000. All right, and let's do a little bit of that. He does have a bit of a stamina issue after all. And of course, then we'll just do some more damage. What level is the Brondo? Hold on a second. Okay, he's only four. He's only forty, but it—it's something innate. T Rexes just love eating Brontos, don't they? Okay, get out of the way, little one. I'm coming for you. Oh, I definitely want to get him mating the other one, right? Num 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 num. num. Okay, no armor there. So much food. So much food. And guess who leveled again? Two more levels! Okay, 50,000 health. What a monster. And I mean that in a nice way, too, because he's my monster. Okay, I think that should probably do him in terms of food for a while. Although, I'm going to take that mutton away from you. You don't want that. Uh, probably the prime, too. Yeah, probably the prime. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I'm not really sure how I could top that right now. And um, offline, I will go get the other one. I mean, let's face it. This was the harder one to get. And, oh, I'm sorry. Did I just eat you? No, I'm really terribly sorry about that. My friend just gets out of control like that. He just wants to all of a sudden start eating things. And apparently I leveled two that time. More importantly, oh, he's got some more levels. You know, why don't we just do that and some more stamina. He's 1313 13 now. How very lucky. How very, very lucky indeed. Lucky for me. Uh, I'd run if I was you because you're one bite. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to go get the other one, and then maybe what we can try is we can try some selective breeding. Oh, the army that I can have. The army. Everything else now pales into nothingness now. Just into nothingness. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So, like I said, I'm going to go get the other one, and hopefully Conan will have his Valeria and we will have a whole bunch of little barbarians. So, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.